Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Coming on with a little um, Sunday project for you today, just because I can. And um, still full of crafty inspiration with all my new autumn winter goodies. So I am going to kind of recreate this um, from our house to your card, to yours card. Um, but I want to do it in pink. Yep, I'm going to make a pink Christmas card. So... Let's get started. Now, what I am using is um, the beautiful Flirty Flamingo. And I have a piece of Wisp of White for the stamping layer. I'm just going to attach that there now because I want to stamp um, onto it once it's actually on the card. So, some Tombow glue. Let's get this on. Now, I'm really... Quite so today, so apologies if I'm a little bit slower than normal, but hopefully not. Right, now, what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to put a sentiment in this corner, okay? And the sentiment is, our hearts are next door. No, sorry. Although our homes are miles apart, which goes up there, our hearts are next door. Okay, so I want to actually stamp this in Flirty Flamingo. So I'm using Flirty Flamingo um, Blushing Bride and a little bit of Rococo Rose, okay? Now, let's see. So if I pop that there. Lovely. Isn't that smashing? So I'll just clean off that stamp. And you see I'm using my other blocks. I've got all the different sizes out. Right, now for the next sentiment. Which I am going to pop. Let me make sure it's inked up right. I'm going to pop that directly under. Love it. I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday so far. Um, my oldest is away to a football festival um, with his dad um, and it's a bit of a wait, too wet to date to take the wee one so right moving on to Blushing Bride so yeah so my little one and I are home alone today so he is currently binge watching one of his um, favourite series um, and I thought I'd come on and make a card now I need to test this out hang on a bit of scrap Yep, fabulous. Let's get some pink snowflakes. Like so. And like the other card, I'm just making a snowy background. And the craft craft class. Blah, 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 blah. So again, my lovely craft class ladies enjoyed having a play with these sets yesterday um but silly me forgot to actually take some pictures of their gorgeous project so i do apologize because I, I do like to um show off what they've been making because they're so talented right i don't need these all the way down but just in case da, 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 da. Ta -da. super this is just such an adorable set. I love it, I love it. Right, now, um, I'll just quickly show you how I stamped some of the images. Now, I've already stamped some and fussy cut them out, okay? So, let me get a bit of paper. Where's my scrap paper went? Let's have a bit of this, just to show you how easy it is. So, we have the main house images like so and you get a really really nice effect if you use different color uh, combinations on these so there's the little house one of the little houses there's quite a few um and we have various little roofs so i'm going to stamp that directly above it isn't that sweet i'm loving this stamp set so Christmassy and it's so just reminds me of Scandinavian design houses. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And we have some front doors as well. So 
so let me pop that little drawer in there like so and it's just adorable so earlier on I just had a play and I stamped some images and then I cut them out so shows you how quick and easy it is right so if I just quickly put my um, sentiments back because I don't want to lose them you know what I'm like with things sticking on the back of things that they shouldn't be stuck on etc etc and I, I'm going to leave this this out because I want to stamp and whisper white onto um, my scene so right next stage is I have cut out some flirty flamingo just to make a little hill scene. And I've also cut out a piece of Whisper White, which I'm going to put on that way, I think. And it just gives it a little bit more um, of a scene type style. So, um, what I'll do is I'll stamp the snowflakes onto this first. Now I've got my Whisper White, and I don't use this often. Um, but I really should, right? So, oh, fabulous. Isn't that gorgeous? The white on the pink. Come on, focus. What is wrong with this? There we go. Beautiful. So, I'm just going to randomly stamp on here. Oops, that one's a bit light. That's my fault. Didn't ink up my stamp properly. Right, that's fab. Now, one of the reasons <laughs> I do like the Whisper White, but one of the reasons I don't like using white is because it does this to your stamps. So I will need to clean that, give it a good clean on my um, stamp and scrub thing. Right, so let me do that now. Now you'll see they've got a uh, They've got sunshine on one plate, one section, and raindrops on the other. So this is the wet side. And I just use a sand and spritz to kind of dampen the wet area. And I just give it a good scrub, a gentle scrub. And look at that, isn't that gorgeous? How clean and gorgeous is that? Right, so pop that away. And I'll get this little stamp back in package. Right, all stamps intact, all 33 of them. Right, let's go. So the next bit is I am going to adhere that on. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a strip. Uh, you could, you, sorry, you could use a strip of um, tearing tape if you like, if you like, but I am just going to use white glue, and I'm only doing it on the bottom half because I want to tuck in some of my little fussy cut images in behind here. Right, fab. This one I think I shall put on there. Now I'm going to layer this one up using my foam strips. Now there is another stamp in this set that you could potentially use, you know, for little snow drifts or what have you, um, but for today I'm, I'm going to leave that blank. Um, I think I might actually stamp a sentiment on the bottom right side here. Um, although our homes are miles apart, our hearts, hearts are next door. And what else? I'll put Merry Christmas. That's what I'll do. So if I get this little block. because this is awful plain for me, so, um, and I think I'll use the baby pink, not the baby pink, blushing bride. So there's Christmas, and there's Mary. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Christmas one on first, so if I move that out of the way, and, yep, I'm using that one, right, so I can't actually see if I'm doing this straight, I hope I am, yep ta-da Christmas, Christmas 
beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yep, I will not change my day job. <laughs> right. And I'm going to do Mary the right way round, obviously. Just here. In the different colour. So that's lovely. And you could put Merry Christmas Friends, Merry Christmas Neighbours, because they have all those sentiments in here. Look, you could put So Glad We're Friends or anything. Um, yeah, good. This um, not only is Christmas, um, you could use this as a, a new home card or anything like that. One of the ladies at the craft class was doing that yesterday and all she had to do was take away her card and add a new home sentiment on it because I didn't have any um, so yeah right so got a little strip here and I don't want it too close to the edge and I need another piece now it's coming up for what date is it today what date is it the 11th and I have had to put my central heating on because it's so miserable and um, we're trying to catch up on all of our washing. How boring. And the kids have, they still actually have a week and a half to go the summer break. So you can imagine there's been a lot of clothes being worn and washed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm just going to get a little sip of my coffee. Best part of the day, that. Right, so let's get building this. Now, aren't they just adorable? I absolutely love this set. Oh, I love it, I love it. Now, I want to use, I want a, a house on the hill. So I'll use one of the smaller ones, like so. And you just want to play around. Let me get these inks out of the way, actually. I will put a sentiment inside, so I'll pop these away for the now, and then I'll bring them back out. Yeah, you want to have a little play. Look, see how you can tuck that in there? It's like it's behind the snow. Have a little play and just see where you can position your little houses. Aren't they adorable? Absolutely love it. Now, you don't want overkill. You don't want too many. Okay, so I think I will do that. Go on then, put the toilet out. Shut the door, please, because I'm videoing for that washing machine. Um, you don't want too much on it. But I think that is just absolutely beautiful. Love it. Right, I've got a couple of little ones left over. Or should I put that back? Yeah, I'll put that back there. Right, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the left side and work all the way in. And you just want a little bit of wet glue. This one needs to be tucked under there. Beautiful. This one's on the hill, and I'm going to use a dimension for this one. Just to give it some extra dimension. This one is going to be kind of off, on and off, so I need a dimension there, just to hold it steady, and then a little bit of wet glue. So where was he going? He was going there, wasn't he? Fabulous. Or was he? No. Let me move that a little bit. Because he's a wee bit too close to this one for my liking. Right, shut the door, sweetheart, hurry up. And I'm going to stick this one in. Thanks, wee man. And here. Yep, I'll just tuck that little cutie in there. Where was this one going? This one here is on the top of the hill as well. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Adorable. And I've forgotten to put a little door on this um, this house here. Right, stay. Right, where's my old little house? Right, this one, I wanted to go here. Absolutely adorable. Now, what you could do, if you plan this a bit better, is you could have added a little tree in here or something just to break up the space. Um, 
Beautiful though. Right, so dimension on the back of this. I oh, love it, I love it. A little bit of white glue on the bottom. Like so. And I'm just going to pop that there. And that is the front of our card. How adorable. Sweet. Right, now let's do something in the inside. Now I'm going to do this um, before I stick it in the card. I'm going to do the insert first. Right, so let me check. Merry Christmas. Our hearts are next door. What I'm going to do until you see this, this is an awesome little stamp is right hang on where's my pretty flamingo and what I want to do is pop that there isn't that adorable and one more sentiment which says if I can find it it says from our house to yours. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Isn't that just adorable? Well, right, now these are fussy cut out. You could, if you don't have these fussy cut out, you could just stamp, obviously stamp the image directly onto the inside of your card. But I'll just pop that there. Adorable. Now I am going to use a little tree, why not? Let's see how this looks. I'll pop a wee tree up there. Adorable. Adorable, adorable. Now, one more little thing I'm going to pop in here because I can is these adorable tree wolf hearts, but we we'll also have a um, singular heart there, and I think that's enough. Too much could um, uh, ruin your card sometimes, so just don't go too crazy like what I do sometimes. Right, so let's stick this in. Now, I'll just quickly give you the measurements because I will not be writing a blog, a company in blog with this. This is just to showcase these products by YouTube tutorial only at the minute. So the cards measure five and three quarters inches by four and one eighth of an inch. And then this is one eighth of an inch um, shorter on both sides. So it's four inches by five and five eighths. Um, again, a cut piece of Flirt and Flamingo, which... Um, is the same length, five and five eighths, and then I just kind of fussy cut it myself. So, there is a gorgeous card. There's one I made earlier, and here are some other um, designs for you to see. Aren't they gorgeous? So, I really like this pink card. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you're enjoying these new product premieres. I know I am. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all later. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.